that right there. Today, we're gonna rescue that guy. He said it's a hernia. Is it? Yeah, he got gored probably. And... Tore that belly wall and he can feel the belly wall there. Feel right here. So that's intestine. Oh, I do. I feel it's torn. Yeah, you can feel it straight around. He's gonna leave me the drug to wake him up later. He's getting some now. Oh, Lumpy. You have another lump date? Yeah, so Lumpy is, uh, he's doing okay. He's got his winter hair, and um, he's, he's for the most part, he's healthy. He eats and drinks, and he's just a normal bison, minus the basketball size um, hernia on his uh, on his stomach there we've we've done the work for lumpy we've we've gone to oklahoma state and got our ultrasound on him i've got advice from two different vets and um it, to be honest with you it's not worth having surgery on he's not going to be a, a breeding bull by any means you like guys probably obviously know that um, um we took him and we got him checked out to see what we could do if it was possible I've, I've already explained that i've already taken him to oklahoma state to the vet clinic got an ultrasound on him i've done all that come on buddy well, my wife and i basically decided that we are going to uh, a custom slaughter place and uh, we're going to donate him we just think uh, that's the best thing for him and we hate to see him uh, in the condition he's in it's just not what you want to see um, a bison live their life with and so um, unfortunately this is this is pretty much our only choice um, if his hernia did cause his death here then it, it we'd be in a tough situation and he would just be in your waste he'd, he'd be wasted and he would be put back into mother earth basically Somebody could take him and he could live and go and graze for as long as he as he could. Um, but he's going to keep dealing with that. And some people say, take him to an actual real sanctuary um, and, and places like that. But he, they're going to do the same thing. If he even gets fed, he's going to graze grass and he's going to eat hay. Um, those are the things that he does here. He'll be vaccinated in the spring. He'll get his dewormer shots and vaccinations. And uh, he's, uh, he's treated like the rest of them. We, we know what this condition he has, but um, you can't send him anywhere else. And, and he could live his life out, but he's going to live it out with, uh, with that hernia as part of life and stuff happens. Um, most of the time, uh, these animals wouldn't have lived this long. And uh, he was living on a cattle uh, farm. I say living, that's where he showed up. He wasn't living there. He was just currently there. And, uh, that's where he was him. dying. Yeah, that's where he was. And. It was better off that he was here than at a cattle farm uh, where he may have not have <laughs> been, uh, you know, maybe hand treated like this um, as much. So um, he had eventually stressed out and probably died um, eventually. And uh, these animals can't handle being alone. He needs to be with bison. He doesn't need to be with cattle. He needs to be out here with his brothers and sisters. 
cousins, whatever you want to call them, that's where Lumpy wants to be. And that's where he should be. So that's where he's been and we've taken care of him. We've given him feed, water, and hay, and grass, and all those things. And so um, vaccinations, we've done everything for him that we could possibly do for him. And um, he's better off with bison and he's still alive, probably because he's still with bison. And uh, it makes him feel a little bit more um, at home and whatnot. Even though he's at the you know, bottom of the total pole, but that's just part of it, his condition. So. He's uh he's still living a normal life minus a minus a massive hernia there on the side. So he's been good to us. So y'all have been good to him. Tried to be good to him, and it's uh it's hard to see him live like this. And we need to we need to do something soon. So off to greener pastures, to bison heaven. Bison heaven, yeah, for sure. And it'll go to a good cause. And, Again, like something else could happen, and if he got too far along, then his meat's not yeah. If he, if viable. he dies, if he dies out here, um, then y you can't. There's, <laughs> it'd be very difficult to take him to a slaughter place and try to even get in a, a processing facility that fast to process him. If an animal dies out here, it, it can't be state certified. It has to be. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but I don't know the Oklahoma state law. But if, if an animal dies and then you take it to the processor, um, I don't know if it can be certified. Yeah. It's just like his mom. Right here. Well, Norris Bowl. He looks good though, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Come on, stick over here. Come on, Lumpy. <laughs> you got one all by yourself over here, man. It's, it's hard to imagine much bigger because it looks pretty rough.